means to make a living, you know, and a lot of our citizens and uh, are being relocated uh, because of coastal land loss. Uh, when your feet is wet, nine times out of ten, uh, something is happening, you know, to, to the environment and to the coast uh, that's bringing in more water than normal before. And our people are having to leave because of the land loss. Uh, and a lot of them not going very far. They're just moving to another community. A place that was once home to 125 families is now only standing to see around 20. The United Home Nation, a state-recognized tribe spread throughout six parishes in the southeastern Louisiana, has been struggling to preserve their way of life with worries that their community will not be protected. The United Home Nation is connected by bayous and canals along the southeastern coast of Louisiana that once enabled a waterway of living for their people. Boat travel between some parishes is no longer an option due to the effects of coastal erosion that has left many of the waterways unsafe or impassable. Alice John Charles, Pointe-Chan, and Golden Meadow roughly mark the corners of a triangle within which the majority of the Homa live. Alice John Charles is one of the original sediments when the tribe moved to the bayou. An island that was once 5 miles wide and 11 miles long is now barely a quarter mile wide and 2 miles long. Since 1955, the island has lost 98% of its island and most of its population. Fields that once housed fruits, vegetables, plants, and livestock lay either abandoned or submerged by water. The Gulf Coast has been eroding for decades due to levee building, oil pipelines, and climate change. Some of the most deadliest tropical storms and hurricanes to ever hit the United States have struck the Louisiana shoreline. Katrina was the first single incident that impacted all six parishes. The homes of more than 400 tribal citizens were left underwater and 650 citizens were left flooded to the rooftop. Three years later, tragedy struck again. In 2008, Hurricane Gustav left homes destroyed. Less than two weeks later, the community was flooded by storm surge from Hurricane Ike. For, for myself personally, we've had damage um, to our family home from hurricanes. Um, my brother um, actually um, had significant damage in their home uh, from Hurricane uh, Katrina. Uh, they lived in a FEMA trailer. We actually didn't know where they were for uh, for a while. The government never came to any, none of them, nowhere. It was uh, uh, people, you know, private donors and everything else uh, that came in and volunteers that came in and helped. Uh, rebuild the community. While the Gulf Coast has been eroding for years, the Homa say that the deep water horizon oil spill significantly worsened the problem. This made the Homa's way of life by living off the land extremely difficult. You know, that's, um, uh, that was very devastating. The life cycle of many of the marine animals that the Homa rely on for food or commerce became endangered. Vegetation was harmed as petroleum soaked the network of roots. The United Homa Nation requested funding from BP for a case manager to assist members with their claims, but that request was denied due to the tribe's lack of formal recognition. These environmental factors are not only affecting the tribe's physical health, but also their mental health. Residents are being forced into an annual ritual of rebuilding, being removed from their way of life, and having to make changes in their lifestyle. While the land that served the tribe for generations is quickly disappearing from underneath them.